Hey, hello! It's finally that time of the year again where I get to look at all of my past sketchbooks. Um, it's 2024 now, but this is going to be titled the 2023 Sketchbook Tour simply because all these sketchbooks I completed in 2023, not 2024. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Uh, this was the first one I got for the year. I actually got a pack of like three in one sort of thing. Um, they were relatively small because of that, so I went through them quite quickly. Um, but yeah, so we've got our introduction, start page, and then a couple of things. I've been watching Chainsaw Man and Powell is my favorite. I was also in the midst of my Submers craze. Um, yeah, trying to draw backgrounds half-heartedly, something I really don't do enough. Uh, there's some Mystic Messenger as well. I think I grabbed this while I was on holiday, and then it was when I started dyeing my hair. So you've got the reverse roots look when I had not enough bleach to actually get all of it. Um, I also then went back into my undertale phase. Yippee. There's the first attempt at pink that didn't work super well. Um, I think I drew those ones at work. Yeah. I think I was making more attempts to actually use more colour in my works as well. That was for a Team Rocket Persona slash cosplay I was thinking about doing for PAX but didn't end up doing. That one's a sticker that now exists. Uh, there's Papyrus, his expressions are hard. There's Frisk. Uh, this one I did based on a drawing exercise I saw on TikTok that I thought looked fun. And that was when I briefly had a... what's it called? Don't hug me, I'm scared. Look through. Um, more background attempts. This one was from some drawing prompts that I made for myself. I really like how this guy turned out. Uh, some of them I like more than others, like her as well. Um, colored pencil sketching. I need to do more reference stuff, honestly. And here's more from when my hair was being dyed. That was when it was bleached, and this was when it went bright pink. Uh... This was when I was starting to attempt to do stamps. Again, got it from TikTok. There's Chara and Frisk. There's a watercolor painting of questionable quality. Here's more stamp attempts. There's Masky Marble Hornets. More drawings of me. Um, cats. And that is the end of that sketchbook coincidentally, on my birthday. I kind of went through all of these in a descending order of getting darker to lighter as well, because the sketchbook pack just had three different colours on it. You can also see the only stickers on this one are from Poetax. Uh, once again, got my little start date. Started it also on my birthday. <laughs> Uh, drawing sparks, drawing me in pink hair goth outfit. Uh, got a lot of compliments for the pink hair actually. There's Ina, because very cool animations, you guys should look into that. Um, I uh, was thinking about making a game that I've not done any progress on. Need to write myself a blurb or something. Oh, it's Grandpa Semi Fonts. Um, this one was based on a concept that Toby had for an original, like, grandpa or something that was going to be with Sans and Papyrus. Um, I just thought it would be funny to give him an actual design closer to how at least Papyrus's face was originally going to be based off, which was a character called, I think, Dadan or something, who was in Off. Uh, but yeah, I was like, I want to try and design a grandpa skeleton. Definitely not going to include him in a fic I'm planning to write. Um, this one was for a draw this in your style. Those ones were me trying to do my own takes on those guys, but it was not coming to fruition at that point. Um, more attempting to do backgrounds and more stamps. I really liked how the potion bottles turned out. 
uh, pencil drawing with sparks, uh, you'll see me start doing more and more coloured pencil drawings, because um, I really enjoyed those. This was me thinking about trying to do a body of work that I never ended up touching. There's me and the cat. There's more stamps, I forgot to do her face. This was, I think, in an actual video that I did. I don't know what the vibe with that one was. More segments. Uh, me again. I think that was the first time I went out for drinks with my co-workers. They had a very brief Alice in Wonderland phase. Um, the four first ones that I drew actually ended up being stickers as well. I forgot why I drew her. Oh, I forgot to actually finish these guys as well. Um, there's the other two again. That was for some of the things I was meant to be working on with friends. I forgot that I was going to do like a proper Alice illustration and then I didn't. <laughs> oh, more sand. I can never get how to draw him properly. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, there was a self-portrait. Wow. I feel like I'm being a lot more subdued for this. Um, sorry, I've been very, very tired recently. This was a video idea I did not end up doing, but maybe it'll see the light of day this year. And here's the third one. Um, got a lot of stickers from Milky Tomato from this one, and there's also a Cortex one. Yeah, these two are mine. There's the guy I mentioned became a sticker. Yippee! Um, once again, got a start page drawing. This one had, again, more of a attempt at a background. This guy ended up drawing because I was like, why is he in Pokemon Masters? Um, these were ideas for the anniversary of Marble Hornet. This one here actually ended up being a finished illustration. It's having a dust phase. Um, don't question me. Oh yeah, there was the deep draw this in your style. It's also in here somewhere. Um, yeah, I really need to work on my action poses. Oh, and here's more of the Scooby Doo stuff. Gotta actually do more work on that. That one's also a video idea. I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> this one was my first drawing of a D&D OC I made that I haven't actually ended up using, but she is very funny to me. Uh, designs for liner cut prints, and then I accidentally did this way too small. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was me trying to design a fake one. Uh, maybe I'll give him life later as well. My friends also told me this year that I apparently give Tinkerton, so I drew it as a mystery dungeon one. Oh, this was a commission I did for the CSA where they wanted a mascot. Uh, ended up going with these guys. Um, yeah, they were fun. There's Mechaton. There's. Map station. If you, uh, there's more summer stuff because I was doing something with a zine for them. That one was a spider Cerna. I quite like how she turned out. I should do a digital version of it. More dust. Again, having a bit of a dust phase. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That one actually wasn't too bad of a photos. That was me trying to draw Art Nouveau and doing a very bad job at it. And that sticky tape came undone again because it was really bad. Kmart washi tape. Do not recommend. I can't remember why I drew the once slur, but anyway. <laughs> uh, more Undertale stuff because, again, having a bit of a phase. Oh, that was a cute new crop top I got. Uh, yeah. That was it for those three, but then we have the big book that took me forever to actually finish. Um, a lot more of these are more local artists, so we do still have a lot of Milky Tomato. Um, they were all from artists around the convention circuit I was in. Also my pride skulls. Uh, yeah, um, we've got a bit from Angry Seagull Noises. 
forget the name of the artist who did the there's ones. Uh I'll maybe look it up for you guys. There's also a lot of random junk in this one because it's the sketchbook I had on me when I was going to Japan, uh, which I actually did for the end of November slash start of December. I also tried to do a more complicated introductory page for this sketchbook and tried to theme it around sort of Undertale Delta Rune shop pages. Uh, there's Gizmo there as well, and there's Sparks. Um, again, was on that Mystic Messenger ride. Jehe and MC are my favorite ship. Uh, if only they let us be gay, but they kind of shy away from it. Um, me trying to draw PRC characters and doing a bad job. There's Awesome Dude. There's a random Pokemon generator that I got, but I kind of want to redo that because it looks bad. That was the design for the Ikea crop jacket, which is also a video you guys can watch. Uh, this was based on Island's human killer design because it looks cool. That was a dirt eye based on an ibis. Um, yeah. Again, having a Undertale Deltarune moment at work. Those actually ended up becoming oh, proper illustrations uh, that are holographic. I'll put those up on my shop eventually. Um, yeah. More nightmare. I did not draw him well there, but it's okay. He gets redeemed later. Um, still want to draw this one because I need to practice backgrounds. God, I hate backgrounds. This was the design work for the Sparks redesign as a magical girl. Ended up going with this. Um, this was a cute game that I watched someone do a playthrough of. There's my better nightmare. Uh, excuse the nudity, but also he's just bones. Uh, this one was me trying to do a more scrapbooky looking page. I don't know how successful it was. This is an enemy I designed for something that I never actually used. More bad Sanses. More dream Sans. They actually did a cosplay of him last year. It was not very good. Uh, this one's also a final illustration somewhere. Page of Gizmo. That is close to what I did for my cosplay costume. Uh, this one was me just fucking around with acrylic paint. I think it turned out kind of cool looking. Paint is not my strong suit though. Crayon scribbles. I probably should have put some baking paper in here, but I didn't. Papyrus again. His expressions are so hard. I don't know how people do them well. Um, space girl. Space grillby. He's fun to draw. Um, the giz mob. Because uh, I have a cat and my roommate has multiple rats. Uh, Finn and Jake, as well as some more stamp designs. There was Cross around the time of the Sexy Man contest. I still need to do a commemorative drawing for that, but it was really not working well. This is based by Headcanons, based on a fic writer I really like that I need to do proper illustrations of. This was ideas for Inktail Turbo. That was Phil Sands. Uh, the stuff underneath is just random writing advice, so I'm not going to show you guys. This one's another self-portrait that I thought turned out pretty cool. There's Edge in his new official armor that he really doesn't like, apparently. I also later did a digital illustration of that. There was the Amazing Digital Circus, because I really enjoyed the pilot animation. Um, again, these were just more ideas for me trying to sort out the Intel Turbo. I got some new pens here and had a lot of fun drawing with them. Uh, they're sort of like funny gel pen type things, but they're really nice handling wise. Like I think I got some pretty cool illustrations out of them. Uh, this one was more scrapbooky and I think if I put, yeah, if I pulled that out, there's another one. This one was not drawn by me, but from a friend who started at work. Uh, these are definitely not a couple of different interpretations of what a reader character from a very bad fic I'm writing might look like. I have a couple more I need to draw out though. More Undertale. This was a friend of mine called Iron Mouse, who is at the con circuits I tend to go to, who minded my table for me for a bit. Very nice of them. There's Gizmo. 
This took me ages, but it's also the most recent drawing I have posted at this point in time. Uh, there's Ramona and Scott. Scott looks terrible, but Ramona's cute. Absolutely loved the new Scott Pilgrim animation though, you guys should check it out. Here's the first page of Japan Travel Stuff. This was actually just before I set out, and it was my fit when I was getting ready to leave. I got horribly sunburnt in this and had like a bag stripe as well. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we visited a lot of places. Now, Shima was quite cool. I also collected stamps. This is from a notepad that I put while I was there. Hiroshima was also very cool. I've got my daily fit scribbled out. Uh, Miyajima was super cool. I really like how this sketch turned out as well. As you can see, I'm using those gel pens. I really, really enjoy drawing with them. Kinosaki was a really cute onsen town. Kyoto was probably one of my favorite cities to visit. There's a really cool French magician bar where I made friends with an Italian bartender. That was nice. Uh, Takayama was cool. There was a nice little old granny in one of the places I was staying who said my drawings were segoi segoi, which I greatly appreciate. I also visited Harajuku. Um, there were lots of really cool things in Tokyo, but we didn't have much time there. More stamps. Even more stamps. I got one of those glass pens and tried drawing with it. Two interesting effects. Uh, Nico was cool. I really liked how this sketch turned out as well. As you can tell, I'm not very good at backgrounds. Uh, Hirosaki was fun. We went there when we were visiting or passing through, sort of on the way to Hakodate, and went on an apple pie crawl. Um, Hakodate was probably my favorite place I visited. Definitely not because of the Hawker men. They're really funny. You should check them out. Hell Valley was visually really cool. Also super cut these slaps. Sapporo was fun, but I slipped over way too many times. And Osaka was nice. Um, I enjoyed most of it, apart from getting lost. Uh, there was Nobara, because I was feeling a certain way after watching what happened in Jujutsu Kaisen. I won't spoil it, but those of you who know, you know. My poor girl. Uh, there was my first proper illustration with the glass ink pen. I actually really liked how he turned out. Um, also tried redrawing the human version. Not quite happy with him, so I might tinker a bit. Um, there's dust again. Uh, there I was drawing Fell Swap, or is it Swap Fell? I don't quite remember which order, um, but I was like, I haven't actually drawn those guys properly before, so let's go at it. Um, there's me redrawing Artemis. Watched a couple of video essays on Yume Nikki. Um, there's a attempt at a different human dust, which I kind of like, but also need to do some work on. I like the curls. The curls are nice. This was me getting happier with the sands I was trying to design earlier. He's trans, by the way. Or she. I'm not quite decided which I want them to be yet. Um, more Undertale sketches. This one was based on a TikTok make your own space OC thing. I think she's cute. I should do a proper illustration of her. There's one of my other OCs, Lucas. There's Bee and Puppy Cat, because that is also a really good show. Um, this was for a game called Bury the Hatchet that I watched a playthrough of, and this is for one called Dead Plate, where I did not like the majority of the sketches on this page, but it's fine. And that was the end of the sketchbook. Um, I feel like I probably sped through all those a little bit too quick, but anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoy my achievements from this last year. I'll be back again next January with the 2024 sketchbook tour. <laughs> See you guys, and bye.